previously on Master Detective Archives Ring Code. I tell you what, Kanaka sure loves his booby characters, doesn't he? Always gotta have a big old pair of titties in that game. A few of them even better. A lot of times even more than a few titties. Right all up in the grill, just throwing them up there, going Thank you, Ashina. No problem, that's what I'm here for. All right, who else wants to see my titties? Titties! And now back to Yuma Kakatu. The Sneaker B! Back with some more Master Detective Archives ring code. Oh my god, my hair hurts so bad. I just, shut up, Muma. When we last left off, we entered the Mystery Labyrinth, a weird metaphysical realm that takes all the facts from a case and portrays them in a crazy labyrinth where you run through mazes, face off against giant monstrosity versions of real life dudes, which are already kind of freaky, and slice the hell out of the truth with your sick sword, your key sword, or something of the like, patent pending. And yes, and this is where the gameplay of the game has sort of poked its head out and clearly has the, the bone structure that is Danganronpa, right? You're destroying noise, avoiding the irrelevant statements, and slicing the contradictions with contradictory evidence. It's really fun. I'm actually really digging this. It's both familiar and also new. And I've actually found Shinigami to be a really pretty great uh, little uh, little sidekick so far. I, I saw somebody mention it's it's a very similar to what Ryuki and Tama were like in uh, AI uh, Nirvana Initiative. And you're right, it is very similar. She's all kind of goofy and horny all the time. And you must kind of like the more like straight and level-headed character. The straight man to her goofy shit. It's fun. Oh my god, seriously, Nika, my head hurts so bad. Are you going to be done? Shut up, you up. But anyway, after seemingly reaching the end of the mystery labyrinth, it seemed like some of the culprit had to be zilch. At least that was the conclusion we came to with all the information we had. But it also just doesn't feel right. It's like something's off. I feel like there's things that happen that aren't really explained. Which is why Shinigami has uh, used her powers to recreate Zilch's crime scene so that we can finally get the information that we were missing because we didn't really spend the time we needed to uh, examine it as thoroughly as maybe we should have because we want to get help. Look at him sitting over there. He's fine, right? It's fine. Look at him. He's just, he's cooling off, okay? He's doing just fine. Just like Yuma here. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, ah, gaming said, I would like to point out you could absolutely still use the dead portraits as splash art for thumbnails. Episode 41, Poochie in the thumbnail when she died in episode two seems like a powerful fake spoiler. And this, this comment got a shit ton of likes. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for saying that. Ah, uh, gaming. And to everyone who up upvoted that freaking comment, all I got to say is thank you. All right. You have no idea how valuable those fucking portraits are. All right. When making thumbnails, you have no fucking demon idea. So I was, I was crestfallen. Not just because missing out on potential new and interesting characters, but also thumbnails. Come on. But you guys are fucking demon right. You're right. We're just gonna do it, all right? We're gonna do this shit. It's gonna be our little secret, okay? Ever watch this Let's Play? Everyone on the outside is gonna have no fucking idea that that little girl who put in the thumbnail actually died like 30 episodes ago, but we will, all right? It'll be our little secret. We ain't gonna tell nobody, all right? Pinky promise, yeah? You go grab my pinky, okay, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna take this shit with us to the grave. And then I'll, every time I do it, I'm gonna like tweet out shit and put the comments something like, oh my God, I can't believe Poochie did that or Sange did what? That was crazy pants. Do some really stupid shit like that. Really sell the crap out of it. Everyone will be watching this like, what? What did Zange do? And also, what kind of name is Zange? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a fucking brilliant plan. Isn't that right, Yuma? Ah! Thanks, Yuma. And you're right, that is his name. But anyway, ah, gaming, thank you so much for your incredibly motivating comment. We're gonna do this shit, guys, together. And it's our reason you are comment of the day. But anyway, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for the support you've been showing on this series. Like, holy shit. Series has been doing really, really fucking well. And it's always just a joy to see that. To see people who are like really excited and like as much as I am. And to see it like performing well and everyone's just like having a good time. We haven't really been having any like huge issues with like massive spoilers either, so. Just thank you. Thank you for joining me for this. I'm really glad to have so many of you guys accompany me on this crazy little adventure of ours. I'm really digging the game. There's something weirdly cozy about returning to a Kadaka game, you know? Like I'm home again. <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. Brings me a certain type of joy that I feel like only Kadaka can with his weird, crazy bullshit, right? And his jiggle physics. Isn't that right, Shinigami? Sure, yeah, whatever. Master, are you okay? I'm just, 
I was just waiting for the guy in my head to stop talking. All right, you must go do this. Oh, thank God. Uh, Master, are you hearing voices in your head? I don't know. Uh, I think maybe. Aside from you or something. Okay. So anyway, we got Zilch over here. Looking really great. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? Ah. So, was he already dead at that point? I'm like, trying to think. I mean, I mean, well, even if you were already dead, if you stabbed somebody, I think it would still... Would, blood would still come out. Yeah? Yeah. There's no blood on it. Oh, so I can get solution keys here, too. I just realized I can't... Freaking Shinigami and her jiggle fight. Look, she's just floating there, and it's just like, look. Oh. <laughs> Need like a anime boob sound for every time she's doing this. Hey, stop looking at my amazing tits. I wasn't, though. Not talking to you. What? Nothing. Uh. You may have seen it, but forgotten. And that just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Oh, yeah, my brain. Okay. The cushion. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. Huh. I was going to say maybe he was smothered, but... So, stamp through the pillow? There's no blood in the pillow either. It was made by something sharp. What did this? Cush right next to the bed has a hole in it. It was punched by something sharp. I will say, actually, this is a pretty great first case. I mean, all things, things considered, even though the characters, a bunch of new and interesting characters all died, it does leave me in this, like, place of, like, damn, I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. Like, the pieces are there, but I'm trying to, like, I, I don't know. I can't fucking figure it out. Crime scene recreated. But I'm glad it's, you know, not, like, super simple. Ganaka's at this point, like, come on, you guys... You guys know this shit's gonna go, right? Oh, it's fading. Some crazy bullshit, all right? We're contradictions and all that. Here's some banana stuff. I guess the pain is starting to go away, too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Two things. Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. I was rushed. He's like a little, like, I, I, I kept seeing it, and I, I thought it was actually like a, like the model was like messed up or something. But she just, she has like a little, like, some kind of like tattoo or something, like right on her, like, upper chest area. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. It's like a heart or something. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So we're seeing the little portrait down there, too. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Yeah. Working together? Lay it all out, Master. What in the fuck? I thought it was gonna be a monster in a reference. She's like, throw a bomb down, blow us up. What the fuck? Suddenly DR2 and... Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. Ah, you get out of here. <laughs> okay. What the hell? We're gonna expose the truth together. The Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. What? I was gonna say, she's naked in there now. She's got some clothes on. You can see the straps. Kanaka's always gonna have, like, the big booby characters in his games, you know? The truth is, hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. If you can knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that'll open up a path. Oh god, it's definitely gonna be horny. 
By the way, if you feed me the solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key, bring it to my mouth. Okay. Don't you forget. Okay. Hey! <laughs> she fucking vomits it out. There's some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. So reading down there, Detective Zilch's death was actually a... Oh, red herring. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, just... Uh, that that one? Oh, wait. So I, I take the... Wait, hold on. So, X throw soul blade. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And then... Ugh. Oh god. Uh, uh. Okay. Red. Fan service. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Ah! Okay, she was actually talking about a power, not just fan service. <laughs> what the fuck was Ah! <laughs> Boom! That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Wait, what? Oh, so there was no knife in him, essentially. So was he trying to set up look like he had been stabbed? And that was, but how is that gonna work? Just to make it look like he was dead? Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Yeah, so I think it's suggesting that Zilch was trying to mislead us. So he was still alive. But then what happened? Booty. Zilch's death was just a red herring to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. But it he still ended up dying. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. Who lit him on fire, then? But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! But he is dead, right? That was his body. <sighs> patience, Nico, patience. Oh shit, am I about to run along the track here? Don't f can I can I actually oh oh shit I was like I'm getting kinda close to that edge. I can I can I fall? Uh, What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't wanna walk anymore. <laughs> this is gonna take forever! Yeah, it was like we did like ride in that minecart for like five straight minutes, and we were going like really fast. I'm this is gonna take like Probably three hours. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know. I have a convenient transportation method, thanks to my awesomeness. Oh yeah. Fast you travel. Go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. What's convenient? Zom evac. Oh, <laughs> is this is this a Dragon Quest or Dragon uh, Quest reference? <laughs> it sure fuck it is. <laughs> See, <laughs> funny, very funny. The other one was Evac. Was that also a reference to like another game? This one I at least rather than I was like, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Man, I hope nobody sues us for that. But unfortunately, using it 
does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Yeah. Your lifespan. Ah! My lifespan? Again? No! Ah, why? Why did you tell me? I would have just walked back. I didn't know. So we passed through. How did the culprit pull it off, Junction? And have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. Ah! Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Solution keys can be used to break through mysteries in the way. Select the solution key that answers the question in front of you. Get it right, and the mystery will mystery will disappear. Keymeister. Bruce the culprit played dead. This corpse. This red herring. Eat this. Ah! Slice the shit out of that shit, Yuma. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Whoa, follow the Yellowbrick Road. See, didn't I say the path would appear? It's all because we found the right detective clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. Yeah, you're kind of horny. I might hurt my hand. Ah, uh, in more ways than one, Master. <laughs> we opened the play dead route thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> so we're saying he's actually still alive? Hmm. How, though? How the fuck is he still alive? I mean, I was going to say, like, well, he moved the body somehow to... Like, that's there was that one body that had a stab wound already in there. Like, he somehow got the body over there. For we did, but he was like, we saw him in the room. There was nowhere for him to go. And then he lit on fire, right? Right? Oh, the ground, it's falling apart. You better run faster. What do we do? I thought we did it right. Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Ah! Whoa. Uh oh. Crash Bandicoot platforms. Oh. Why did you snap my neck and why am I not dead? What has Yuma saw through the window actually? Was what Yuma saw through the window actually Zilch? Yes. Oh. oh fuck, I pressed the ah, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed X because I fucking fucking uh Nintendo controls. Y is where X normally is. Yes. When I saw Zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife to the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. Was the port corpse at car one actually zilch? Uh oh. Oh, it isn't. It is not zilch. But he was. 
did he like dress up somebody else to look like him? The corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zulch's corpse. In other words, Zulch swapped himself out for a real corpse. How the fuck did he do that? So swap places with the corpse in the infirmary. After you meant it. No, no. Damn, I'm fucking up here real bad. I guess it had to have been before, but then why would he have a fake knife wound if that wasn't really him? was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Hmm. Okay. Silch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. It'd been a while. I couldn't remember. I thought he just like walked in the room and it was like he saw the body get engulfed in flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. What? <laughs> ah! Falling in a TV. Hey, it's me again. Ah, uh, how you guys doing? Y'all enjoy this, uh... So the game? That does not mean it? Yeah? Hey, look at the boob chick. It's not like Juco, right? Don't worry, don't worry. I'm definitely going to see them eventually. But it feels like it's really missing something, right? Little furry, fat little tubby dude. You know, little despair-ridden bear with big teeth. Huh? Anybody? Kanaka? Wait, no, no. No, don't change the channel. Here. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke. He needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. Spot selection. Use the on-screen cursor to select the spot that answers the question. You can pick the spots where the icon changes. Bigger, Ron Spix me, means taking damage, so don't screw it up. Or die. Where was the bl the burnt, swapped out corpse hidden? I mean, I guess it had to have been underneath the bed. Here. Oh, oh my god, look at that shit. That's it. The burnt corpse was hidden right there. But how the fuck did he get out of the room? Did, like, he rush in, and then in the middle of the smoke, he managed to just sneak behind him or something? I don't know, man. That's like, that would have been really fucking tight. And then again, I, I, I so th this is, th this is the case that this body was then used in the final train that we saw that had the necklace around him, right? And to be fair, that's probably who this was initially to begin with. How the fuck did he get it over there? Oh God. Ah. Hey. I'm gonna lick ya. <laughs> ah, the truth's so close. I can almost taste it. Uh oh. And now we're here. Thanks. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. And also my lifespan. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it! He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body? I'm so jealous! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Hmm. What the heck? Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, 
He could just hide to avoid me. Just hit under. Yeah, because I guess I had to run away to get the extinguisher. Some place with easy access, which must mean under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Okay. Yeah, I, I I guess so. I mean, he was there the whole time when we were looking around. I mean, granted, I guess we didn't stick around long enough, but then that begs the question: How the fuck did he get that body from here over to the other side? I mean, if he's not a master detective, right? That means he was the he's the the one who was full of shit. So, like, he wouldn't have an any kind of forte or ability, I guess, unless he does he has something. This is a crazy world we live in here. I mean, just look at this pink-haired girl next to me. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. Yeah. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. Oh. Uh, oh. He... I think he must have... When I was in one of the other rooms, right? I gotta remember exactly what I did. When I was in one of the other rooms, he probably ran past me with the body and dropped it off in the other car. And then from there, I don't I don't know where exactly he went and how I would have not been able to find him. Unless maybe it was in like the one of the pilot seats or something. Maybe that's how he did it. Dude, that's just that's kind of crazy. This is wild. I'm sure he calculated all that too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning. And that's why he let you live. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Wow. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I guess you'll be moving here. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. I mean, come on. There's no fucking way you... It's just crazy, you are, right? Come on. Give yourself a little bit of slack, buddy. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? That corpse? Well, um... Oh, here we go. I think I know the answer to this now. Uh, again? I won't let you go any further. Hm, getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. No, I won't. I won't do any of that. I don't like stir fry anyway. I will not. I have a very severe veggie allergy. This sounds like an excuse not to eat your vegetables, master. No, it's real, really. Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the Mystery Labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now, let's go, Master. Assist? Are we playing a Marvel game? Oh, looks like you might not need assist after all, Master. By using assist, your partner inside the Mystery Labyrinth will help out. When a partner's assist is activated, a Mystery Phantom statement won't inflict any damage. So be sure to take a close look at what they're saying. Use them on the recovery, recovery gauge at max. I'm not sure if I exactly understand what it means. It means like when I get hit, I won't take damage. I won't let you pass. I'll protect you. End up on your nonsense. Oh, and it puts a shield on me for a while. Okay. Uh, ah. Yeah, I see. Okay, it's a, a limited time shield. Cool. Uh. Okay. Wait. What, what's my uh, my keys here? Poochie's corpse. Apex's corpse. Ugh. Ugh. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been down at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Here we go. Ah! 
Actually, that's cool. The, the shield actually stays on me until I get hit. That's that's dope. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. It's Aphex's body from the fifth car. He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. Damn. Aphex got the got really fucked up here. Not only was he killed, but he was using a in an absolutely insane way to manipulate the case. So the corpse that was switched was Aphex's. Ah, damn it! How could someone like you find the truth? Truth! Oh shit, he's gonna blow! fight anymore even if that's true don't let your guard down mystery Labyrinth isn't over yet stay alert until the very end it's not over yet yuma it's not over yet uh, all right wow who would have thought that short-tempered idiot would be used for a body swap thinking back the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Yeah. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. To be fair, I mean, this shit's fucking insane. Like, <laughs> that Zilch managed to pull this off? This is, uh... So wild. He's a that boy's wild and I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Are we crawling out or are we just on a new level of the mystery labyrinth? What the heck? Uh Zilch? What the heck? Wait. I am not the culprit. What? I am a victim who was already killed. So leave me alone. Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me. But Aphex? But you went to car five after car one and discovered his corpse there. Right. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That it require moving past you. That's right. If he surpassed us, when did that happen? Right. Damn, boys, fast. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, the light! Ah. Oh, we are definitely still in this thing. What in the fuck? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Split paths. Choices. Where did he run off to? Another mystery that needs to be solved. When moving the body from car one to car five, the culprit moved through the train, did not move through the train. He had to move through the train. Yeah, he moved through the train. Thinking about it rationally, we have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. No, that's impossible. 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 Uh oh. Impossible. 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 Well, oh, guys, you know, juiced up. Uh, 
Zilf's turned into a mystery phantom! Get him, Master! Boom killing so hard, his relatives get bruises! Boom kill! Blackout and shaking cushion with hole. A body can't get from. Uh, there was a blackout and shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. So it's gonna be this, but I'm trying to understand exactly. I don't know. Did he like fucking move the car ahead of the other one or something? Car one to car five. Oh shit! Oh god. The train tunnels are quite narrow. Corpse is heavy enough as it is. Get out of here. Ugh. You would certainly have noticed. That your deduction is all wrong. I'll say it once more. You cannot transport the corpse from car one to car five. That's true. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. Was there no uh, statement? I, I I didn't see anything to slice. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. If we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. So they, they like ran along the top? How the fuck would they do that, though? Can they even... Can, how would you even get out of the train? If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. Hmm. Blackout and shaking. It's gotta be that. If they didn't pass through the train... Ugh. The corpse was brought in from outside. The windows are all locked shut. Under those are all locked shut. The door's locked when the train is moving. Okay. We know the train never stopped once. Ugh. If the windows and doors are shut, Ugh. there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. Nope, take this! Ah! This is the truth! Peel my power! No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Distorted plate, bloodless blanket, backup control system. The plate identifying car five, it is burned and distorted in an unusual manner and no longer resembles its original form. Oh, fucking how though, dude? Even then, if this was made to be like, it was actually car one, but we somehow got him into to replace car five. If we're moving in a straight line, dude, I don't, the bag control system is operating. It's possible some kind of malfunction caused the main system, control system to fail. It's it's gonna be this again. It's gonna be a distorted plate. Shaking in the blackout. Nothing but coincidences. Don't you demon lie to me? The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's ah. nothing odd about that. That's ah. all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Ah. Come on. Really? Wait, that was it? The blackout was just a bad contact. Bad, a, a bad contact. No, it was. It, it is this. Is the back of control system failed? <laughs> ah. I through this mystery. didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. 
control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <sighs> such a thing as a good phantom? After him! You've gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill my mystery phantom! Uh, hey! Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. Hmm. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. Yeah. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. No, 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 no! The main control system was lost when Carl was... So this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor... I better think hard, too! The main control system failing? The blackout? The train shaking? Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. Like, it almost just feel like they... Like, somehow the the train decoupled itself went down like a separate track and went around the tunnel or something while we went in there came out the other side and was in front of us i don't know how it didn't destroy it so the blackout happened because oh uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too after the whole train shook the blackout <laughs> Right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Oh god, here we go again! Time for some fan service! Or she's actually gonna be wearing something different every time. Blackout and shaking. The main control system was lost when car one was. Uh, is it like decoupled? So let me, let me look at this shit, so. Twirling, twirling, twirling. So I can get a hint. Backup control system. So, like, what happens if I. Did it switch to the backup car because Carwin was? Did it switch to the back because Carwin was gone? Uh, is it detached? D T A C. -A wait. D D E T A C H E. No. It was removed. It was. 
gone. Removed? Removed. I think it is removed. No. I wonder if I have to go in specific order or not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I just... Shit. Ow! I think it... Maybe I do have to go in order. Oh, wait. It was D. Wait. D... E T A C H. Oh wait, D C O U P L. That doesn't work as decoupled either. Well, it's got to be D something. D activated. D. Is it detached? Oh, because one of the words. Oh, it's it, it it's fucks with me. Because one it it's not. Okay, I was like. I was funny. I was actually literally right the first time. It threw me off because one of, one of those counts is two letters. Yeah. Okay. That kind of fucked me up a little bit. So this counts. This is gonna fill one spot, but it's two letters. Okay. There we go. Oh, she has like a question mark on her boob. Ah, lasers! Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because... the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. for now uh but that would but that would make sense because if my if i was thinking like even if that insane theory i was saying was true that would mean that they would get to the other end and they would have literally six cars instead of five and they'd be like uh wait what i mean granted i guess it could just not notice but no it, it's he pulled it off somehow from there got to the front of the other side of the car uh the other side of the train uh, drop the body off in what was car five or uh, wait, no, fuck. I have no idea. I'm so um, confused. Master, I don't really get it. I don't either. What do you mean? The first car was cut off. The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that... Watch out! Ah! Bigger rock. How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating. Hey, you're the one doing it now. <laughs> Again? Body was transported along with the entire car. We need to restore the mystery at hand. Given that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Lay it all okay. master. Oh, this one. Immediately, see? Yeah. 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 And then... There we go. Ugh. Different pose, Kawaii. Ah! Cyclops powers. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Transported the corpse? 
with the entire car? Nonsense. Oh my god, he's evolving! Shut up! The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? It's a fucking good question, my dude. Uh, um... Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and you mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. I tried to. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning. Wind powers. Bird form. Red herring root map to store. Oh, oh. God, I should be looking at my shit here more often. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There it is. Look at this bitch. Look at this motherfucker. Can I can I look at this? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I should have. You know, I really should have. When I'm asking these questions, I should just gone in there and looked at the damn solution keys again myself instead of just being like, look, what? it's been it's been so long between some of these episodes. I don't remember some of what some of these things that I got were. Fucking hell, that is it! Oh my god, it wasn't what I thought! So somehow, he, so he detached it. That man, he fucking booked it. Because the control panel was on that side, so he could have controlled it, made it come around the other end of it. That's weird. Why, why does the path go like that, by the way? <laughs> why does it have a branching path like that? It just goes back to the same place. Very odd. I mean, he would have had to fucking book it, though, to get ahead of the car, and then reattach it to the end. But wouldn't that have, like... Because we came out of one, right? We came out of one. If we stuck it on the end, I'm trying to think if I'm like understanding this correctly. Wouldn't we have reached that car and then that would have been like, wait, did we just go through six cars? No, no, no. Would he, no, 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 no. All he did was co go back. It, it was technically the fifth car, car five, I, I think. Wait, it, what? No, but then there would have been no reason for him Wait, no, that doesn't make sense either. Because he actually, he he scrubbed out the number on the car. So that means it was likely car one. But wouldn't car five have still been there? Just, just imagine, right? I'm starting in car one. We leave it. He detaches it. I'm now in car two, right? As far as I know, though, I just left car one. That's back there. So if he moves it to the front, I'm going from two to three to four to five. But technically, there's actually another car in front of it, and that'd be six, but I would have counted that. Did he somehow detach car five and then put car one there? Anyway. Oh, it shook twice near the tunnel. Okay. Uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's getting crazy. Getting crazy, man. Ugh. Yeah. Even if you managed to separate car one, ah. how could it be moved to the rear? Ah. The train was always running on the same tracks. Oh. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. 
Wrong! Uh! No! At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars! Okay. The first time the train struck was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separate. Oh! It was... On the... Yeah, okay. Okay. Never, never mind. This is more. This feels more feasible. I, I thought car one was on the other end. We're actually we were on the front, which makes sense. It's that's why it's car one. So yeah, obviously. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. But again. That, to us, would have seemed like there were six cars. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> I think. If I'm understanding this correctly. Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The whole system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. Okay, I went and checked. I actually went back and re like just scanned through that last video to make sure I'm like, I'm understanding this right. And yeah, we were, we got to car five at the last one. It was five, we went through five cars. So the question is, I mean, it's like, you could say, okay, car one was in the front. So he moved it to the front and then walked through the door and put the body in what was car five, but what's the point of scratching out the name then, right? Why would he feel the need to essentially do this? Making it possible to tell what number car it was. Like what was the purpose of doing this? It was car five, if that if that's the case. I don't know, just keep, just keep going. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up. No, that's crazy. Ah. Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. Yeah, oh, okay. Yes, he said it. He said the thing. He said exactly what I was thinking. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'm not crazy. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong. How could he have fucking done this? I have no idea, dude. This, this, this is a wild and goddamn case. No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Time to get naked again. Numbers? From the start, the Amaterasu Express was a... Oh, was it five? Maybe, is it not? It is not five. Hold, hold, hold on. It, it was... Oh, it was four! No, no, no. My brain! Oh my god, this is fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> this fucking first case is crazy, pants! My brain is melting! Ah! the hell but the signs that we saw right am i high did they fake the signs in preparation Maybe for the shit to express doesn't have five cars what if there were only four cars to begin with if that's the case then to me car one could be made to look like car five <laughs> huh 
huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Oh! What the fuck? Who told us there were five cars? Was it fucking Zilch? But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Oh! Wow. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm fucking... This is, this is amazing. So the train took off with only four cars. What a mind fuck. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. Wow, this, is, this shows how fucking premeditated this shit was. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Yeah, wow. The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Yeah. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> There was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. Yeah. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? That's how you eat that's how we get the, the truth in real life. So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. Mm. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right? Zilch! <laughs> All right. Da, 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 da. That was a pretty solid deduction. Heck yeah, it was. <laughs> Very impressive. Of me for seeing your potential. It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. Remember your true self. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. There was no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Right. I see stairs. But I think it's that once they stop talking, if I if I hold down R, everything. Feels different here. Uh, I can actually like sort of skip ahead while I'm running. So uh, cool, that's good. I, I I didn't do it there just because I it was already like pretty close and I could see where I, see where the end was. But but I'll remember that for next time. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. Yes, yeah, seriously. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, yeah. would they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? Whoa! Hey, how's it going? Birdman! What is this? Looks like a fort to me. 
with this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave! Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. Yeah, I'm gonna cut him real good. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boom kill time! Boom kill! Boom kill this bitch! Ah! What the? And now it's down there. And now I'm down here. <gasps> Big girl. No, 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 no. No, 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 Okay. And I'm up here now. God, Shinigami! Let's fucking go! Shinigami's tutorial corner! To overcome the last of a phantom, terror through all obstacles with the mega-sized god, great onset destroyer, me. Oh okay, god, here we go. Let's fucking go, time penguins. Big woman. Kick, tackle, jump. Blast away the giant iron balls released from a phantom's fortress with a corresponding kick. Okay. When an obstacle closes in and the screen slows down, press the button to attack. Missing the input means failure and taking damage, so be careful. Take this. Oh, I think I... Wall. Destroy huge walls when they suddenly appear with a corresponding tackle. Again, when the street slows down, press uh, the button to attack. Again, missing the input means taking damage. Ugh. Jump the thorns that appear from the ground. When the thorns screen slows down, press uh, the jump button. Okay. Oh. All right, here we go. Ugh. Uh, 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 oh, fuck it. Come on. Just try and fucking stop me, you bitch. Destroy the wall with a stone solution key. I'm supposed to say even a god can't cut to destroy with a without a solution key. Open the solution key menu, pick a key that contradicts the statement, and boom, slash it with a master solution blade. Fucking got you. Sort of plate. Huh? Ah! <laughs> this shit's Look, awesome, dude. There are traces of a swap. The warped plate from Car 5. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said Car 1. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make Car 1 look like Car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Here I go. Fucking go tell me to No one's gonna fucking demon stop me. That's nonsense. Uh. Uh. Burns the plate to disguise it? No, I didn't do uh. that. Uh. Uh. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> no way. Come on! Get away! It just happened to be easily burned! But with it burned, uh. you have no way of knowing what number car it was! I'm coming! I'm coming! So there's nothing backing up your deduction! You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car! 
Mmm, Fortress of Solution Key. Like we need another Solution Key to boom kill him. Good luck, Master. Uh, Knife and Corpse. The infirmary in car five was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spatter on the interior lock. The Death Keeper report. It's fucking this. This stupid bullshit. I, I think. Wait, let me think about this. I guess it was because that that would have been this would have been car one. So this showed that he had locked the door from the inside. Maybe his hands were bloody from fucking stabbing, stabbing folks. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think it. I think it has to be this. There is proof. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. Oh. <clears throat> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. Oh, I don't even notice that. I don't think. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. Oh. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case. Get together. Get Die, you bitch. Cool. I'm not done yet! What? He's still going? Let us both kill you already! If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car. But the culprit wasn't there. Hmm. Back under the bed again? The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. Spot the selection. Where was he hiding? The train door. Main control room A. Oh. It must have been main control room A. Here. Yeah. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No. It's not me. I'm not the culprit. Don't you lie to me, Bug Birdman. Great detective work. I call that a critical hit. He seems like he's barely standing. I knew those cat ears on his head were fake. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all of your evidence into the solution plane and slash as hard as you can. Oh my god, yes. Jam all that shit right up in that fucking bullshit. This power. Oh, yes. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I don't even give a shit. Da, da, da. Give me a closing argument. Oh, God, yes. I think it is. Deduction denu denouement. Oh, it's sure. Oh, my God. They fucking are just doing it. I don't give a shit. They're just doing it. They're just doing it again. It's. The, it looks like it's going to be the exact same thing, and I'm okay with it. It's pre honestly, it's a pretty amazing way to finish off any of these, like, the cases in Dyeropa. I'm totally fine with him just bringing that shit back and calling it something else.
The deduction deduement is where the truth is made clear by th thinking through all the deductions up until that point. Place the piece in the correct deduction gap to reveal the truth. Locked pieces can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up. Up, up, up. Once every gap is filled with a piece, our finale revealing all truth, all mysteries will be revealed. Everything has been leading to this fucking demon moment. Uh, all right. Ah, yes, yeah, and some of them were locked. Yeah, this is sort of taking a bit after what, uh, I think V3 kind of did this too. So the fire extinguisher, what does ZR, ZR do? Oh, ZR slows it down, I see. Oh, God. I'm going for, I'm like, wait, why isn't it working? Oh, right to left. Yes, of course. Haha, -ha, look at my face there. Oh, interesting, but it's not, he's not shown as the black in this time. He is shown as actually himself. Oh, I see. I, I can X to see like a table of contents too. All right, this one goes here. Ugh. Try and go there. All right. Yeah, so I guess he was also the one that sprinkled the knockout drug in there. Uh, uh, under the bed. The blackout when the train separated, as well as the train detachment itself. The uh, reattachment. Car one. The fire extinguisher being set up there. It's interesting. It's actually not showing the full picture every time you do it, too. It's only showing a part of it. And finally, you zilch. For the grand fucking finale. Ugh! Mystery unraveled. Master detectives slain before their time, and Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Show it to me. Show me that goddamn demon truth. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanaiwar. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. Oh, cool. Time, the train was made up of five cars. It's done in full 3D, though. It's actually not, not seemingly drawn out. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. Dance music, though. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. The culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. I bet the culprit who was the first person on the train, so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. I felt unwell, and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Uh, this thought yours truly was responsible? Sticks and stones were too much to it, but slander stings! <laughs> 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 Sent me off to car one in order to frame. No, I think some of it is actually drawn. Like this right here is. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, back to 3D model. We changed their plan and went after you instead. It's actually really impressive, though. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. The culprit then burned everyone to death. All those master detectives on fire! On purpose! What a psycho! Yeah, really. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the And I kept adjusting my glasses along the way! This was done to prompt me to smashing the door later. Why have someone been inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body? 
Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. A knife and cushion created the red herring. Oh, a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While they were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! I caught a glimpse of self in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest. But it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Apex's burnt corpse, switched places with it. It's a good thing it did, otherwise I would have been fucked. The room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick, switching places under a veil of smoke. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Smash the window. Unlock the room and went inside. Just like the copper plan. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Why they picked a time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. I like how they're showing the map on the left while they're, they're doing this. It's very, very in depth, very clever. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. At time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. So the train shook. Oh, was there or was there not to the news? Take a guess. You're getting. While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work. Preparing to disguise car one as car five. What about the juggling? What about my boobs? First, Aphex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned, so that it couldn't be properly identified. With everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. And at this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. Or inconvenient, if you look at it another way. The culprit riding in car one Attached to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. Damn it, she got when we get it! After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. 
figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was a typical Rick's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Different pre arranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. So much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. Amaterasu was in on it! That really turns me on! Yeah! You mean, pisses me off, right? Sure! During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. And waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. And the perpetrator who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Behold! Phil Alexander! It was you! Ah, no, it wasn't me! Cat Tagami, no! You lie! Where the fuck are we? That's it! This is the truth I've uncovered! I'm gonna slice him in half. <laughs> Bisex this motherfucker! Is that it? Is he dead? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. Mm. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Here we go! It's my time to shine! Gonna reap him? Punisher time! <laughs> Surging bloodlust. Uh-oh. Overflowing despair. Despair! The brilliant soul of Shibami. Oh god, here we go! Oh my god! Uh! She can fly! Oh yeah, kiss you, Scythe Chan. I can't hear you over the music! Uh! Ah! Oh, fuck me, there goes Vegas! Ah! Cool. It's all just like real life. When you solve a goddamn case, you blow up the fucking universe. Remember, the swink wears a grill great great with the more money on his upper incisors. A grill made of gold is on is on order. Thanks, Swink's grill description. And we're back. Uh-huh? We're back? Ah, uh, crap. What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time <laughs> in the world. These guys with their arms there. Huh? 
Shinigami, where are you? Nothing here has changed. What's going on? Where's my sword? Shinigami, are you listening? Get him! Uh oh. Wait, I know who the culprit is. What? It's Zilch. He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's already dead. Huh? But... Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Eh, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! Oh! <laughs> oh. There she is! Back to being uh, all puffy again. You're so cute when you panic, so why hit to enjoy the view for a bit? <laughs> Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <clears throat> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Take him away! What? He's dead! Uh oh. It looks like it's over. Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? I think she did reap him. There's always a price to pay. Can I reap the soul of the true culprit? The mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Uh huh. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. No trial for you! The source perishes? <gasps> Don't tell me. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Zilch, the true culprit, was dead. But if he's dead, then how do I prove well, I'm not? That solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. Uh, 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 help me now! You're now innocent and free to go, master. A happy ending. A roll credits! No, it isn't, you dummy! All you did was make him dead, which is what everybody thought he was already! Now they have every reason just to arrest me and fucking kill me! You do me, you stupid purple pop There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Huh? Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our, my eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? But what? You think you can weasel your way out of this? You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now! You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation! No, um, I didn't mean... Hey! Don't surrender so easily! You were so close! That does it! You're under arrest! Holy shit! Super angry face! Listen. You got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Ah. Take him away. That's oh, kind of how I thought this was gonna go. Hold on, hold on, just a second. Hey, excuse me. Do you have a minute? You, Alex Lee, is that you? It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. 
but we both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. I had dinner with him. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me, yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Let's go! Thanks, bro. Thanks, Alex Lee. Thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me? All right, holy shit. That was great. Oh my God. Actually, that was an amazing, amazing first case. I actually, I loved it. I thought it was, a, that was, I thought it was awesome. I had been guessing until even like the very end. I didn't get to a point where I was like, I totally figure it out until literally like the, the actual end of it. So it was very satisfying and it all seemed like it made sense too. Yeah, gotta say, uh, game's off to a great start. I'm, I am super on board right now, but clearly this game's gonna have to start filling us out with some other characters. Cause all the ones we thought we were gonna be hanging out with are freaking dead at this point. I guess that's where Alex Lee over here comes in. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. Jesus. If you did, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And if you're not already, why not subscribe and become a picky penguin aboard the SSLP where the day's always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.